winners are, are good guys are good friends as well and I know you guys will hit it off there um, of your accomplishments the many many accomplishments that we'll talk about in our next hour is there one or two that really stand out some of the world championships or anything along those lines uh, there's been <laughs> mostly I remember my losses more than our wins yeah. because you know we there's so few of those yeah, yeah they, they, they kind of wins. stand out um, I love being out of the country winning out of the country a lot of times and uh, one of the biggest compliments I ever, and this is very geeky, I understand, but one of the biggest compliments I ever had was back in the late 80s, and this mother comes up to me, and she worked at a little convenience store in Belgium, she said, you're Marty Knight, aren't you? And back then, I was fighting every weekend, and my name was in the paper every weekend and everything. She, I said, yes, ma'am, sure am. She said, well, I want you to know, I was washing dishes the other day, and the neighborhood kids were out there in the, in the backyard playing, and one kid said, I'm going to be He-Man, and one kid, I'm going to be Skeletor, and one kid said, I'm going to be Marty Knight. Right. So I know I'd arrived then. You know? <laughs> yeah. I know I'd, I'd made some impact somewhere along the way. And you continue to make it with the young people. I know that's still a very important part of what you guys did. Well, I have a good parent network. I mean, when those kids come to me, it's not a whole lot of work i got to do to teach them how to act. I get to do a good job teaching them karate because the parents do what they're supposed to at home. And that's so important in having a good program. Before, I know some folks will, uh, most people will join us in hour number two, but in our last minute or so of this hour, uh, for those that are looking to get their kids into something, what are the advantages, how early uh, developmentally do we need to start talking about getting our kids into We start kids at three and a half and four years old, we call them like a little dragon class. Of course, they're not going to progress as fast as a 13-year-old or 23 or 33 or 43 year old. Worst case scenario, they're going to develop coordination and muscle development. Um, if they can tell their left and their right, be taught their left and their right, it's a good program to get into any kind of martial arts training, as long as it's quality martial arts. Um, anything you learn at that age, later on, they're six or seven, they're going to play church basketball, or league baseball, like you had a gentleman on when he just went what, what, nationwide with it. Right. It's, those muscles will carry on. It's called muscle learning, transferable learning, stuff I learned in college. It will carry on. It's just going to make you a better coordinated athlete in anything else you do. And have we seen it? Um, the popularity is obviously increasing, but have we seen, um, you know, older folks, uh, senior citizens, or, you know, any, anybody? Is there, is there an age where we say, hey, we probably don't need to get into it this late age? Well, remember years ago, years and years ago, if you play football, you're supposed to eat a lot of steak, drink a lot of milk, didn't you say, keep away from red meat, eat carbs. Right. Now it's back to eat protein again. So. It, but if you notice senior citizen now they get into the water aerobics now. So martial arts training at that age is probably more the knowledge of what to do and what not to do than the actual skill itself. But there is, you know, any kind of any time you get any kind of muscle resistance training, 
they can add to your health, it's going to be good for you. Absolutely. All right, in our next hour, I want to ask you about your influences, about some of the great things you got about a minute. Uh, you went through growing up, some of the competitions, some of the world championships. Uh, the resume is awfully impressive. And also, most importantly, we'll give you the award, and uh, we'll talk to Barry about that. But hopefully you're going to stay around. We've got a huge crowd here. And, uh, oh, this kind of food, I'm not going to eat anything. Absolutely. Well, cause you don't look like you eat, though. Like believe me. Protein. Believe me. <laughs> I eat. Trust yeah. me. All right. Uh, so in hour number four of the show, Marty Knight will join us once again. And he'll believe in, uh, maybe take some phone calls? Absolutely. 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 All right. Do that. And folks, you can still come out and meet Marty and uh, the fourth winner of the Living Legends Award. We're at Buck's Family Restaurant. Hour number four after this on the Super Sports FM 104.9 WCCP.